Hi everybody, I'm Nick Fahey. I'm a prosthodontist who works locally in Harley Street in London as well as working in Pangbourne in Berkshire. I'm here today at the invitation of Strahman to show you this exciting technology which I've been using for over a year and with some dramatic results. So I think it's important that the first thing we do to start uh, showing you how innovative and new this technology is, is to show you the old techniques that we used to use. So we'll start off with a conventional impression. I have my very willing volunteer here, young Jen, and we have the conventional silicone impression. This is a fast set impression, but you can see that it's very gooey and gungy. And that's why we've also got the, the bib on here. And in the past, one of the major problems with this has been open wide things. In certain patients, this promotes a substantial gag reflex. Once the impression is started, you cannot take it out. So if the patient is to struggle with this process, then it can be quite claustrophobic and certainly quite disconcerting for the individual involved. Obviously, Jen is... Uh, used to these uh, techniques and uh, uh, as such is uh, coping admirably with the treatment. How are you finding it, Jen? Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, I just touched with my thumb there how sticky this is. Uh, it's a massive problem also with people with facial hair like myself. If you get this material into uh, a gentleman's um, beard or moustache, then obviously it's quite uncomfortable for them removing it. Well, unfortunately that buzzer isn't us ready to finish. Mm -hmm. As you can see the material is still quite tacky. Just for the patient's comfort try and unstick them from the material because the stickiness of the material can also be quite off-putting. I don't know how Jen's finding it but this material is actually a flavoured material and the, one of the main reasons that they flavour the materials is that in the past that's been another major concern for people is the taste which can be quite unpleasant. Okay we're getting there. I think Jen's had enough so we don't, <laughs> we're going to wait for it to set completely but we'll remove it. Okay oh and it's quite quite a good stick and then obviously we can remove it. It tastes foul. Yeah, and that's one of the flavoured, theoretically flavoured, pleasant ones. Okay, so I think that you've got a reasonable idea now of what's involved with conventional impressions. Uh, if you zoom in there as well, we could probably illustrate some of the problems too with conventional impressions. Uh, one, I've got all sorts of stuff over my gloves, which is unpleasant for me. But you can see here drags where the impression has not been completely accurate around the wisdom teeth. On this side you have a drag. We have some marks here where the impression's not complete. Air bubbles on the teeth and areas where the impression has not 100% replicated the exact situation in the oral cavity. Would you have had to have repeated that impression? It would depend what I was planning on using it for. Okay. So there's levels of accuracy that are needed. For example, in Mike's discussion when he mentioned things like Invisalign, that would be a case where you would have to retake this impression. Okay, so I think the most sensible thing for us to do now is to um, ask Jen if she's willing for us to perform uh, uh, one of the, the new ITERO scans. We will just do the scan quite quickly. Uh, and then we'll run through a second scan more slowly and I'll explain what I'm actually doing. 